thank you, Mary, for taking a couple of minutes to talk to us um, about the costume design for Talking Heads. Um, I just wanted to ask you how you made a start on coming up with the costume design for the piece. Um, well, the very first thing is to, is to read the plays um, and then uh, chat it over with Anthony, who's directing initial ideas and then actually what I did was go away and just do some drawings, one, two or three for each of the characters and plot out the sequence through each of the, each of the monologues. So each of the characters have got a journey and came up with just initial ideas, rough sketches of what that journey would be and the possibility for clothing. And in fact the whole process then becomes very organic because I take, then took those to meet with um, the actors talked them through and by that stage they'd already done quite a lot of rehearsing so they got some quite firm ideas about what they wanted as well. Um, so it's then the stage of marrying the practicalities of what has to happen on stage with what I've drawn and what the actors feel they would like to be wearing. Um, and particularly with um, the vicar's wife character, Bed Among the Lentils. That's changed. If you looked at the drawings, what I drew is nothing like the costume that has, we've, we've ended up with. But that's part of the fun of it. It can be, it, it, it in itself is quite a creative process. And you're finding it's therefore quite an organic process. It is, yeah, it is. Um, and I'm very happy with that. I, I think it's good to have um, an image to, to start the discussions around and then everybody knows exactly what it is they're thinking about and they're talking about. Um, and then it can go in any direction. Um, and so today I've been in with the costumes that we I've sourced. The actors have brought in some bits and pieces as well. Um, and in fact, that we're now um, at a rehearsal where um, they're all trying on and playing with bits of their costume. Um, and so then we've got a few, a couple of weeks to fine tune exactly what, what's going to happen, what you know, what's going to look like on the stage. Yeah. Level, level. And then what topic is uh, drinks and snacks? Hot drinks. So we can have a look at the break. And where have you sourced the costume from? Um, we've been lucky enough to have access to the Northcott costume uh, department. Beth there has been very helpful, pulled lots of stuff out of nooks and crannies all over the place. So an awful lot of stuff has come from the Northcott. Um, and uh, partly the actors have, have found stuff themselves. Um, and I've been allowed to officially go and trawl around uh, second-hand clothes shops looking for bits and bobs, which is quite a privilege as well. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Okay. And uh, not necessarily to do with costumes, but just generally, um, I know you've had a, a, an insight into what's happening with the rehearsals. Um, how, how do you feel about the show? Is it? I think uh, it's, yeah, I think it's really interesting. It's been fascinating uh, reading the plays and then knowing, knowing the actors a little bit beforehand um, and seeing how they really work very hard at their characters and the journeys of each of them. So I think, uh, yeah, they're three, they're three very well written pieces and they're going to be very well acted too. Brilliant. Thank you.